Hello lovely people, it's Rhonda here from Flowers More by Rhonda and today I'm going to share with you all my May DT Gone Artsy Goodies. Now let me just slide over a little bit here, okay. Now, i got some awesome goodies this month to share with you guys, but the first thing I want to share with you all is something that I'm super, super stoked about. Uh, a few months back, I was doing one of the classes, and uh, <clears throat> I had mentioned, excuse me, I had mentioned that I wish they'd come up with a cap for your glues where they had like a pin down in them. So that way, when you put your caps on, it goes down into the nozzle part so that way they don't get clogged. I thought that was pretty cool ingenious thought. Well, Deb has done it. She has found the ultimate cap. Now, uh, I've been dying to use this. So, um, it unscrews. And as you can see, there's a little pin right there. And it goes down inside there. And this has like a preci very precision point. And hey, it keeps everything unclogged. So she has these in three for three different size bottles. Uh, this one will work on your four ounce bottles. Now it goes from this ounce to this ounce, so the four ounce fits right in there. So I'm going to take this booger here off, provided I can get it off because it's pretty sealed. And uh, there we go. Loosened it up. And this is the Journey Glaze. Um, there is someone that Deb knows that sells this. And I've just, I fell in love with this uh, glue. And then Deb now carries a couple different types of glues also. And there you go. Awesome. I cannot wait to play with this using this cap, but I wanted to share these caps with you all. And there are three different, and they I believe they're in three different colors as well. And then there's three different sizes. Just check out whatever size glue bottle you have, and you'll be able to um, figure it out which size you need. So hurry over, get your awesome cap for your glue bottles. So that way it will uh, aid in you no know, clog being clogged and all that nasty gooey stuff. So we're gonna set that over there. Yay! So I'm all about my little craft gadgets. I'm really bad about them. <clears throat> I'm not much into electronic gadgets, but kitchen gadgets and craft gadgets look out. Love them. All right. Deb now carries these fun little topiary pieces. Uh, these are great to uh, alter and decorate uh, for centerpieces for your wedding. As a lot of you know, I do do that. And, uh, yeah, you can uh, get you some cute little pots to put these in. Or if you want to just cover these in moss. I have uh, been, if anyone's familiar with Jennifer Allwood, she's fantastic. Uh, and she has a lot of cute uh, little fun and expensive tips and tricks and one of them was uh, using moss to cover things in. Um, she She's absolutely fantastic. She was the magicbrush.ink. She has a painting business. Uh, interior, exterior, or interior painting and uh, home decorating. So, uh, yeah, that was a little thought she had shared that uh, I thought I'd share with you all. So, um, you know, or inexpensive pots, like say from the Dollar Tree or whatever, to put these in. And, uh, you know, you can wrap greenery around these. You know, whatever fun little decorating you want to do. And they're probably a little over 12 inches, maybe about 14 inches. My, um, my crew, as I call my family, they were over here messing with my stuff and a lot of things. Got rearranged. There we go. I found it. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's about 14 inches, maybe maybe even about 16. Let's see, 12, 13, 14, about 14. Yeah, a little 14 inches in height. So that would make a lovely centerpiece, but I love topiaries. So that's a fun 
item that you can use. Okay, now Deb has now got these gorgeous, uh, it's called Gypsy Cord in the shop and they come on these wooden spools which again is another fun little art project you could do with these once you have used your cording and they come in various different colors and these are two of the colors that she carries and uh, I love the two and three for one kind of deals on anything that you get so yeah, you get your yarn, then you get your spool to play with later on. Win win. Uh, sorry, I'm just kind of goofy like that. But anyhow, <laughs> okay. And as a lot of you know, Deb now carries a foil in her shop. And this is an adhesive pin for the uh, deco foil. And it even comes with a um, spare tip in case you need to replace it. And this is to uh, be used to help apply the uh, foil with. Now, I have not used any of that as of yet. Uh, just off the heels of recovering from surgery, so I've not done a lot of playing with anything. Uh, I'm just wanting to share the products with you that she is carrying at the moment. So, there we have that. Now, this is a little fun favorite. I did a wine glass for a cousin. Uh, she's a huge Disney fanatic and it was something that she had shared it was totally done by someone else and I sort of uh, done my own and um, but these are these go on champagne glasses stemware glasses um, they're little charms uh, and you can make you know beautiful little beaded charms to go on your stemware and uh, on hers, I wasn't able to complete it like I wanted to. Uh, I'm on the lookout for a Disney charm, and but I had just put some beads on it just so we could decorate the the, the glass up, you know, a little bit. Um, I think I did them in white. And uh, but yeah, if you do etching, if you do paint, you know, paint painting stemware on glasses, these are a nice extra little touch to put on there. If you party a lot, you know, uh, with guests. Uh, these are great. You could put the guests, set these out with beads, with lettering, and let the guests put their names on them, put them together so that way they can put them on their glasses, and then that's a little something they could take home with them. Um, I love party favors. I'm a party favor nut. I think you should have a party favor for everything. So that would make a nice little party favor for an event, for a bridal shower, baby shower, just a girl's night out kind of thing. And these um, <clears throat> painting parties, uh, art centers, they are like popping up everywhere where you can, you know, get you a, a crew together and go in and have fun and sit and paint one night and have a few drinks because a lot of the places sell, their, sell, you know, alcoholic beverages or just regular sodas. Well, some of them do stemware art as well. So, you know, get the girls together and go make you all up a themed uh, set of glasses you know to have for future get-togethers or whatever and uh, uh, yeah and then you can you know if you're the artsy one in the bunch uh, crafty one then you could put these together for your girlfriends or whatever okay now I'm going to show you a new charm and I love Deb's packaging because a lot of the pieces come in these fun little pieces and I tell everybody about these every time I show off my gone artsy goodies uh, if you have the pegboards in your art, art rooms, craft rooms, whatever, um, these are great to hang up on your pegboards. And then that way you can see what you have to work with. Because if I don't see it, I forget about it. That's just the type of person I am. So, But this is a new piece. And she has this in a couple of different colored stones. It's absolutely beautiful. Love it. And then these are some uh, pieces that she's had in the shop for a while. And they are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the pictures don't do these justice. I was like amazed when I seen them. And there's so much you can do with these. Gorgeous. And they come in uh, different colors. She has a few different colors in these. So we're going to set these over here. Now, Deb has in the shop these compact mirrors, and these are going to be great and fun 
for altering. And uh, they come well packaged. How cute is that? Let me figure out which way to open this because I'm about half blind, you all. Okay, there we go. Ta-da! And it's your double-sided, so in that way, uh, one side is your magnified, and the other one is your, yeah, I believe so. Looks that way. And then this side has a little bit of texture to it. This side is plain. And then you could personalize these. Again, another fun project for a girl's night out. So, yeah, you could, these, these would even be great for, um, if you did these for a slumber party, uh, let the girls decorate them themselves. I mean, how fun is that? So, she now has these in the shop. These would also be awesome to get, and um, if you are the crafty bride, and, uh, you know, you wanted to make your gift to your bridesmaids more personal, these would be fabulous to get and do. So there's another thought and idea that you could, uh, could do. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is, and I'll be showing you um, some uh, oh, wait, no, here we go. This one I'll show you. Never mind. Uh, again, I do florals, and I was super stoked. And this comes in another one of those cool packages. Uh, these beautiful pieces here, and you get a set of six. Now, if you do florals, <clears throat> and, and I do, uh, these are great to add in your corsages, uh, your wedding bouquets, and, uh, or just to add in, in any of your floral pieces that you do, say on your cards or on other projects, but they have like the little diamonds on the ends and they sparkle. Oh. Okay, now, and I wrote my package, I did that on myself. Next, I want to show you another one of these, I showed y'all one of these uh, last month uh, that Deb carries. She has um, various shapes and colors in these, and I wanted to show you another one in this color, and it's sort of a cream. Very pretty. And next, okay, I've done showed you all that. Deb now carries molds in her shop. Now, I don't do a lot of molds. I have just a couple. Uh, but these, oh my gosh. I mean, they are absolutely top notch. Now, I don't know how long she's going to carry these. Um, but oh my goodness, I mean, they are fantabulous. And this is just one of several that she carries. And uh, our DT Patty worked with these uh, in her class. And she worked at this one especially. And she did the clock. And it came out absolutely gorgeous. Um, but they're nice and thick. And they're, I mean, they're very... They're great quality molds. So, uh, she's had these in for a while now. And uh, the brand is Iron Orchid Designs by Prima. Okay, yeah. That's when she did her, uh, her Prima offer. So, they are awesome. And she also now carries the paper clay, or she's carrying it right now, the paper clay. Um, I've not played with this yet, 
So stay tuned and uh, we'll see what kind of fun stuff we can make with this. Because uh, this is a whole new world here for me, the clay and the molds. I've never had the clay on hand. I've always just used the heat gun <clears throat> and made my molds that way. And because I've generally mostly just done like filigrees and um, things like that. And then I just kind of make them where they look like they're old anyway, which is what I'm, which is what I gear towards. <clears throat> so, and then here is a paper pack. Uh, one of several that Deb is now carrying. I'm just going to leave that in there. And this, uh, it says Madame Perrude. I am probably so saying that wrong. Uh, but it's a 6x6. Six six, and it's rather French. And I just absolutely loved it. Uh, here are some of the uh, images that come in this little paper pack. And again, it's a 6x6. Six six. And I thought this would be absolutely adorable in a shadow box. Because when I see them like this, the first thing I thought of was shadow box. And then here are some more. Fantabulous. All right. Well, that is my DT package for the month of May. So, uh, stay around. Stay tuned for more uh, Gone Artsy goodies from myself as well as the other DTs. And... Uh, Oh, one thing I do want to share with you is lots of Deb's bling come in these fun little gift bags, uh, organza bags. So they are also great for using for other projects. Or if you are into, um, you know, a lot of swaps and things, great to put little extras in to send to your partners. So, all right then. Well, and be sure to check out the shop for these cool tips for your glues. Uh, I think that's going to be every crafter's uh, want, and um, I'm really super excited about those. All right then. Well, happy crafting. Be sure to visit the shop and get your craft on. So, until next time everyone, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.